Ha. Huh. There we go. Perfect. Um. Yeah, yeah. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Just making sure everything is loading up and launching up correctly. How are people doing on this fine Friday afternoon? Ah, perfect. I think that's good. Let me just make sure everything's good here. Yeah. Perfect. Let me hop back on kick. Ooh, nice. East with streams. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Perfect. Um, let's transfer. Oh, there we go. How's it going, Dr. Fillin over there on kick? Let's see. Botrix. Here, let's switch over to this screen. There we go. Okay. Um, Botrix should be joining here shortly. Hopefully. Um, it's amazing. Nice. Nice. Let me see here. Was that, uh, joking or being serious? <laughs> Can't can't believe how much better my life is right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm serious. Nice. I'm glad to hear it. Actually, that's awesome. Um. Oh, it's because I don't have. For some reason, Botrix only works when I have the Botrix tab open. Which is very odd, because it shouldn't be that way. Um, let's see. Chatbot, yeah, yeah, alerts, aha. Uh -huh. Widgets, there we go. Goal subs, goal s follows, yeah, yeah. Chat. Botrix. Yeah, what are you doing, Botrix? You should be joining here in just a bit, so, um... Kick Chat can see, you know, YouTube Chat at the same time. But also... Timbers, I need to know, what... What kind of origin should I pick? So we have origins in here, but oh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Hello. But Botrix is still struggling. Origins, yeah. So it's kind of like. It's kind of like a backstory for your character. Let's see. Um. Let's try turning these ones off. Because they won't be necessary. Where's Botrix at? Um, yeah, they're, they're kind of like a backstory. They heavily impact kind of the way you play. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's... It's like... Like a background to your character, you know? Um... Like, you can be a blaze, and you're allergic to water. You can be a merman, and you can only breathe outside of water for a certain period of time. You can be a giant, or very tall and can throw people. Yeah, it, it will be very cool. 
I'm very excited for it as well. Um, right, yeah, yeah, races, basically. Yes, yes. Um, whole bunch of fantasy races. We'll load in. What mod pack is this? This is, um, Killaze and Bet Leader made it themselves. Um, there aren't actually 333 mods. <laughs> I know it says that down in the corner, but some of the mods are like, what is it, stacked on each other? So some of the, some of the mods are like four mods in one, and downloading it, it's only one mod, but it says it's four mods. <laughs> this is one Skyrim Minecraft mod pack? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kinda. Pretty much like that. Let's see... Oh, interesting. What the heck? Hmm. Wait a second. That... Why didn't that work? Hold on. Hello? Oh, and also, I wasn't chatting in Discord for a lot. A lot happened to. Oh, nice! That's awesome. Uh, ooh, a PC upgrade. That's pretty cool. I actually like that. Let's go with that. Will it save, though? Maybe I can't change it while I'm currently streaming. Um, let's see. Profile. A little one to that? Okay, okay. Nice. No, oh, that's still awesome. Let me see here. Why? Hmm. Why is Botrix not joining YouTube chat? I really don't know that one. Oh well. On my DDR4. Ooh, nice. And a good CPU. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sweet. Ah, finally. There's Botrix. My goodness. All right. So that means we can finally get started. Let's see. It's got to no. Load up the actual server. <laughs> Bot Riz joined. Yep, yep. So now the YouTube messages should appear on screen so people on Kit can see them. Maybe. Maybe. Yes? Nice, okay. Load it up first time. Ah! Indeed, indeed. Is it? Is it functioning though? Um... It should... That should appear on screen. And the emotes should bounce around my screen as well. Is it not going to? Botrix, what are you doing? Are you serious, Botrix? Are you serious? Really? Okay, let me see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Chat box. Refresh. Hello? Botrix? What are you doing? Got accepted into two game projects too? Ooh! There we go! Finally! My goodness, Botrix. That took way too long. Um... What about Demon Slayer? Oh, they're about Tokyo Revengers? Nice! Nice! Okay! That sounds awesome! There we go. Alright, guys. I'm going to need your help choosing what origin I pick. And, uh, yeah. I know, I know quite a bit about Demon Slayer, but I don't know anything about Tokyo Revengers. Sounds pretty cool, though. 
Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> there's so many loading screens. <laughs> Gotta load this, gotta load that, gotta load this, gotta load that. Okay. Pick the one that makes you into a lonely Sigma wolf. Not doing that. <laughs> ah woo, eh? Okay, okay. <laughs> I must taco. Talk about it? We're gonna talk about it? Indeed, indeed. Alright. So obviously there's human. Avian? Makes you very light, you fall slowly, but you have to sleep above 86 height. Um, ah, modifiers to your walking speed to also apply while you're airborne. That's pretty cool. Is that the Discord ping going out? Let me just check quick. Yeah, perfect, perfect, okay. Nice. The, the thing about SMP servers is you can play it solo, but the, the magic is from the socialization and the camaraderie and playing with friends and stuff. Um, okay. There's also Arachnid, which lets you climb up walls and I believe shoot... Um, shoot webs at people, but you have to eat meat and you have less health. Elytrian, you automatically have wings. You can launch yourself. Uh, you can't wear armor higher than chainmail. You're weak in caves, and you take a lot more damage in general. Um, Shulker, you have... Sturdy skin, interesting. Some extra inventory, strong arms, cobra, we have carnivore, less health, can't hold a shield, but you poison everything you touch. Craftsman. Axe wielder is pretty cool. Crafting on the road. You automatically have like an installed crafting table. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, immune to heat and fire. Okay, so you can walk through fire, but obviously you can't walk through lava. Take more damage from pillagers. Interesting. Afraid of the undead. Might pick Craftsman because of the Axe Mastery. Yeah, that that's looking pretty... Pretty tempting. Lived in a sheltered life as much as you live. Village growing up. You spawn in a village. Okay. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Um, mountain goats. You have to be above 86 blocks to sleep. Um, can never take damage from fall damage. Can't eat meat. Can jump high. Ram people. Um, faster in... Yeah, faster in cold biomes, slower in hot biomes. Three extra hearts. Okay, okay. Rain Farmer. Hmm. Um, can't hold a shield. Can't eat meat. Um, we're slowed down when wearing anything besides leather armor. Hmm. Go goats are trolls. Goats are very troll. Um, less health. Okay. Hmm. You can grow crops in a matter of seconds. That's pretty cool. Um. Ooh, attacks are weaker, and getting hit can make you stunned. Hmm. But let me turn. Music down just a little bit. Um, this allows plants to get nutrients from the sun. I don't know what that means. Just any plants you plant grow faster in the light? I don't know. Um, da -da -da. Regeneration your crops. 
Can summon a passive or neutral mob. Interesting. Wanderer. We have a travel pouch. Uh, we got a fire. Hmm. Regeneration near light sources. That's pretty cool. Um, leather armor gives you additional armor, speed, and attack damage. Interesting. Um, during the night, you become faster but gain weakness. Um, prices go down when you're around. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, never take fall damage. Jump higher. Footsteps don't cause vibrations. Okay. So I guess you're probably way better at fighting, like, whatever's down in the deep dark, since you make less noise. Less health. Wait a second. When not under the effect of a strength potion, you can only mine natural stone if there are at most two other natural stone blocks adjacent to it. Wait, what? You have to drink a stone, a strength potion to mine? Am I getting that correct? Hmm. Creepers are scared of you. Um. Okay. And better night vision. Ender. And teleport. Wake to water. Scared of pumpkins. Interesting. Um, taller and have a further reach. Okay, interesting. Large appetite. Okay. Acquire more food. Have less health. Swimming is good. You gain mining fatigue when you have more than a stack of logs in your inventory. Ha. Huh. You gain haste when near logs and strip logs. Okay, interesting. Abilities are A. Active abilities. Okay. Okay. Beaver Rage. <laughs> Speed and Regeneration. Okay, interesting. Um, deal extra damage. That's kind of cool. Can store precious items in your mouth that do not drop on death. Huh. Okay, interesting. Binturong. This was one I was interested in. They're bear cats. Campfire. Hello, how's it going? Welcome in. Welcome in. Ah, uh, we are currently going through our origin options for this server we're joining. Alright. Binturongs are bear cats, which are very cool. I do like binturongs. But they're fragile. Three less hearts of health than humans. That's kind of rough. Um, climb up any kind of walls. That's cool. Acrobatics. No fall damage. Creepers are scared of you. Ventrongs are weak to explosion damage. So I guess fighting the Wither and TNT and Creepers. But Creepers run away from you, so that's good. Um, okay. Camouflage. Oh, you consume hunger from turning invisible. Okay, that's interesting. Um, been trying to steal extra damage with their sharp claws. Okay, okay, so our punches are stronger, I'm assuming. Um, when crouching, binturongs are smaller. Okay, so I guess when you crouch, maybe you can fit in one block spaces? That's kind of cool. Um, extra damage from fire. That's less cool. Jockey, you can ride on other players. That's hilarious. I kind of like that, actually. Um, Ventrongs jump a lot higher and can leap from tree to tree with a powerful jump. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. Ventrongs need to save energy for leaping because they can't hold their breath for long. That's interesting. Um, oh, Ventrongs' claws allow them to break blocks faster than others. Hmm. Is that just with your fist, or is it with tools? Because that's pretty cool. Permanent night vision is very cool as well. On all fours, being quadruped, binturongs are smaller than average. 
Okay, so you're like a block and a half tall, and then if you crouch, you're a block tall? Hmm. Binturongs have a need for speed? What does that mean? Snorting... What does that mean? <laughs> Snort red dye for some... What? Huh? <laughs> oh. Okay, I think Hydens are immune to all sorts of thorns and spikes. Okay. Can't wear netherite armor, so I guess the most you could wear is diamond armor. Okay, okay. Um... Blob, you can eat amethyst. A little bit taller. Pinkish hue? The heck? Can't get struck by lightning. Uh... Gain speed and cold biomes? The heck? Okay. Can <laughs> blind yourself and give you slowness to heal yourself. Huh. Heard about lizards who can shoot out blood of their eyes. Yeah, to scare predators. Yeah, I know them. I know them. <laughs> they live in deserts. Yeah, yeah. Um, was it the horned toad? It might have been the horned toad, which is actually a lizard that can shoot blood out their eyes. But yeah, I I know them. They're weird. They're weird things. Um. Wait, although you can still use normal hearts, your health bar has been replaced by a health bar. Using abilities or getting hit causes the bar to go down a constant amount. Interesting. You can shoot out a part of yourself. Use 20% of your health. Interesting. So they have, like, a slime meter, and they get smaller as they have less health? Interesting. <laughs> if you're on fire... People deal more damage to you. <laughs> All food is far more saturating. Interesting. Yeah, for real. Binding of Isaac moment. Very true. Very true. All right. Being in a hog wild state will play audio cues every once in a while. What does that mean? <laughs> if at or below half health, you will enter a rage state, boosting both your speed and attack. What the heck? Okay. Orlings can't use shields or projectile weapons. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Now the appetite to move slower than usual. Interesting. Base attack damage is higher. Way less knockback? Okay. Interesting. Calamitous Rogue. This is definitely not. This is like, you deal way less damage to everything besides... Where is it? Not to target. Big Game Hunter. <laughs> Going Withers, Ender Dragons, Illagers, and Iron Golems gives you bonus emeralds. However, other entities have a 20% chance to drop nothing. Uh, guess you will <laughs> oink when raged. Yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Candy person. Huh. Okay can make sugar. Craft a cookie with four sugar in a crafting table. Hmm. Interesting. Sugar addict, you must eat sweets. Interesting. Child of Cthulhu! <laughs> uh, Elytra rings without needing to equip any. That's cool. Camouflage. Hungry. Weak to fire. Launch yourself in the air. Okay can change between small, normal, and large size. Interesting. Slowness on land when it's not raining. Yikes. Perfect underwater vision. Okay, that's pretty cool, but weakness to fire and slowness on land. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. Alright. Um, what the heck is this? There's the underworld. What the... You were cursed by the underworld when you were in the nether. What? Fire weakness? <laughs> God punch. Huh. Okay, an active ability that gives you strength for a while. Naturally faster when not in the nether. Extra health. Take extra damage and gain weakness while fighting bosses. Ugh. Um, can phase through 
blocks for a short amount of time. Can only eat raw food. Interesting. Deranged is no. Deranged is like, you gain extra stats from killing other players, which I don't want to be doing, so I will not be doing that. Dolphins have to be underwater. Super fast underwater. Oh! <laughs> I... Listen, Herobrine, I'm in the menu. Leave me alone, please. <laughs> what the... He's just watching me. Watching me pick my menu and character. Okay. Carnivore. If to the winds, you can launch into the air. You have wings. You're immune to wither. What the heck? Okay, that's interesting. The only downside to the Draken Wither is... Diet is restricted to meat? Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I'm Blazing Warrior. <sighs> Nether en Entity Warrior sent to the Overworld. Your powers are tied to your injuries. Hmm. At 3 Fury, you can no longer see your health. At 3 Fury, you will begin burning. You're able to unleash a strong attack and an exit cross in front of you. Dealing damage to everything inside, including you. Attack shape will change to a plus shaped cross upon reaching 3 Fury. Interesting. Hungry, faster, and hungrier than normal people. <laughs> yeah, red hot chili peppers. Yeah. Also, congrats on level 2 over there, Philin. Herobrine is in this mod? Yeah, Herobrine is here. I I mean, I'm trying to pick my origin, so I had no chance of seeing them. <laughs> but yeah, he'll he'll spawn and watch you from afar. Or you can see him running in the distance. Sometimes he'll spawn right behind you and just watch you. Um I yeah, I got that achievement called He's Watching, which is like, don't notice him. So, he spawned behind me and I didn't turn to see him, because I'm in a menu, so, ugh. Um, next slash does less damage uh, into other mobs. You can also take less damage from being set on fire. Three Fury will not take damage from next slash or burning. Okay, interesting. For each 25% HP lost, you will gain Fury. Resolve your power's effectiveness, okay. Okay. Oh my, uncontrollable torrent of abuse, what the heck? Okay, interesting. You never earned XP from killing mobs. Gain coins instead. Interesting. Okay, that's pretty cool though. Someone a clone at your place and become invisible. It is hit, become visible again, create an explosion that deals damage at the clone, killing it. Huh. Can <laughs> instantly teleport behind anyone. Villagers won't trade. Uh. <laughs> you can only stare people down to death. No swords or axes. What the heck? Interesting. <laughs> Sneak to see all players, even through walls. Also, permanent night vision. <laughs> Staring at an entity for a long enough time will kill it. When you begin looking at it, it'll gain slowness and weakness. What? Later on, your stare will inflict blindness and nausea. What? <laughs> more and more JJBA. What is, what is JJBA? Ah, Jojo. Yes, Jojo. I, I asked this the other day and I forgot again. My memory is not quite what it used to be. I apologize. <laughs> Felvaxi. Feline Raven. Carnivore? Um... No, some of these are just bad. Guyon is interesting. Your light, climb walls, saturation and speed when around flowers. Um, different flower flowers give you different potion effects. Being around mushrooms gives uh, 
They do their best to hinder you when you're around. I don't know what that means. Hey, back from stock taco stand down the street. Nice, nice. Tacos are delicious. Funny enough, Enigma in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure works basically the same. Hmm. Zero offense just stares people down until they show any sign of being scared. And traps those people in this paper. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Guy is very good, but... You take extra damage from drowning, withering, and burning. Regain hunger under the sun, so you don't need to eat. Um, can't consume meats, that makes sense. Natural thorns? Okay, okay, interesting. Chevalier? <laughs> Cavalier, whatever. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Cavalier? We are just going through our origins for this mod pack. Small in size, interesting. Thorns all over your body. And the ones in your fist are designed to have a weak poison. Okay, so anything you punch gets poisoned. Hero of the wild. You have wings, you can climb. Holding your sword, you're able to sh <laughs> shoot an energy attack. What the heck? <laughs> oh, you're Link. You're Link, I see. Epona. <laughs> your body exhausts faster. You can roll. I never learned how to swim. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> you can choose to be Link if you want. Okay. <laughs> Insect. You can climb. No fall damage. You gain no life by hitting other entities. Interesting. When jumping in the air, you were launched slightly in the direction of your cursor. You also glide for a short time after. You only have six hearts. You can walk on water and lava. You're very small. Water slows you down. Your small stature allows you to move quicker. Interesting. Actually, I really like the insect origin. That's a lot of benefits for... What's the only downside? Only six hearts. That's the only downside. And you're slowed in, in water, but... You can walk on water. I guess if you ever need to swim, that's rough. Insect! Insect! <laughs> we'll see. I think we have, like, another 90 to go through. Just wear armor. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Land shark. Okay. Underwater, you do not sink to the ground unless you want to. Three less hearts. Hmm. Campfire is actually my alt account. Oh, when I started watching the stream. I didn't realize I was still logging. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> no, that's that's pretty cool. I've got a couple different accounts. Just no, my my streaming one, my recording, well, my streaming and recording one, and then my personal one. So no, that's completely completely fair. Um, can't hold a shield. Gain slowness too while on land. No, thank you. Float on water. But take damage from it as as it dissolves you. Way more fire damage. Increase your sugar level, which increases your size, health, and attack damage, but you get slower. Huh. Also, insect please. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> the amount of origins here are crazy. Yeah, I think they said there's over 100 origins. I died of reading all that. Yeah. Alright, Moth. Light calls to you. Less health. Wings. Uh, night vision. Okay. You see evasion. Naturally lighter, immune to fall damage, and velocity-based damage. Okay, so you can't die from... You can't die from smacking into a wall with the Elytra. Launch yourself in the direction you were looking. Okay. Flammable. Double fire damage. Oh. Diabetes origin equals mushroom. Ah. I see, I see. <laughs> hey! Gain various buffs around different light sources. Oh! You're weakened in the sun. Smaller than usual, okay. I think they're a block tall. Actually, Moth seems OP. Well, double fire damage. And weakness in the sun is rough. Because... Now... 
I think there are aggressive mobs in the daytime in the mod pack. So, we, we'll we see, we'll see. But yeah, I think, I think torches, lanterns, and soul lanterns all give you a different buff. Um, I think torches are mining, uh, I'm mining, haste. Torches are haste. Normal lanterns are, uh, regeneration. I think soul lanterns are resistance, so, yeah, yeah. Part robot, okay. So you have damage over time while in contact with water. That's rough. Strong enough to break stone without using a pickaxe. Okay. Can't wear any armor that isn't better than iron. Uh, you'll catch fire due to overheating in very hot biomes. So this one, this one is good. And you don't suffer from negative status effects. Uh, but you are always slow. You have a laser. <laughs> you can't regenerate health without regeneration effect. Interesting. Take ev extra damage from fire and lava. What? You are a sentry now. Be careful. You are dangerous. What? Activate self-regeneration if you don't have enough health. Okay. That's interesting. So they have like a self-repair option. Hmm. Wait. Your steel skin gives you the feel of a robot and solid metal comes through your blood and becomes electricity? What? Five extra hearts. Don't get exhausted or hungry. Don't need to breathe oxygen. Whoa. It's just Frankie. Oh, yeah. Yeah? What up, Kale? Oh, we'll, we'll see. We, got, we gotta look through at least most of the uh, ones. But I am thinking insect. Unless it's something else. What's up? What's up? We spent 30 minutes picking origins? Have we? Oh my, we have. Whoops, this is gonna be a long stream. Yeah. <laughs> Super, yeah. <laughs> Super laser, yeah. <laughs> okay, but the thing I was saying is boiling. Catch fire due to overheating in very hot biomes. The thing is, we have the seasons mod active. So, every biome will get hot. So we'll need fans to keep you cool in the summer in a certain biome. Um, a moth is of... Classification of insect. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Minecraft mod doesn't agree. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean? I win? Hmm? What do you mean? What do you mean? Raptor? Okay. Quick. No fall damage. Carnivore. Uh, strong bites. Your hits do more damage. Jump higher. Um... You can't wear anything above iron armor. Interesting. Uh, jump super far. A little bit smaller in size. A little bit smaller. A little more fragile. Okay. Rat. Fragile. Nocturnal. <laughs> you are one block tall. Interesting. Um, insect is a different origin from moth. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it is kind of confusing. It's a little confusing. There are a lot of repeating ones, actually. Let's see if we can... Ravager. Interesting. Less damage, knockback resistance. Strength while holding an axe? That's pretty cool. <laughs> when somebody kills you, they get bad omen. Huh. Not wield shields, bows, or crossbows. Interesting. Okay. Entomology is on my set. Yeah. No. Moths are insects. I love moths. Moths are like one of my favorite insects. Well, they are my favorite insect. Um, and spiders are not insects, but I dislike spiders. Well, when they're in my house, at very least. To be honest, <laughs> red panda. The, the cutest origin there is. Okay, climbing, bamboo eater, cute, strict diet, fur, fire damage, okay. My opinion, moths are better than, oh, 100%, moths are way better than Fire, uh, butterflies. We have having an insect class. What's the point? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in just a second. Rift Mage. I don't want to pick any of these ones. They're super niche. 
And, like, you have to be in the end to take advantage of Rift Mage. Sandwalker. Disadvantage in cold. I think you have weakness and slowness while you're in a cold biome. Snake. Like, we already have a snake origin. Sprinter. Sunken Sailor. Vishashian? What is that? Fire weakness. High prices? <laughs> you annoy villagers, doubling all their prices. Interesting. Cannot use armor. Above gold? So, is that equivalent to chainmail? I think. Hmm. War god. You deal more damage with axes. Permanent fire resistance. Very hunger consuming to fight so much. Fair enough. Sun equals fire, and fire equals good. So you have weakness during night when there is no sun. Okay, never mind. Witch of Ink. Cool. Being here paintings replenishes hunger. What the heck? You can craft wool with just two string. Interesting. Colored dust floats around you. Wait, eraser erase the color of the entity you're looking at? What does that mean? Does these origins will take half the stream? Very, yeah, very possibly. Very possibly. Take four times fire... No. <laughs> four times fire damage. Powerful being... Teleportation, acrobatics... And harsh lighting conditions... Ooh, in the sun you get blindness and slowness. Ugh. Wait. Because they're so nice to everyone, creepers, spiders, skeletons, and zombies won't attack you unless provoked. Super sane. Ah, I see. I see. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> well, <laughs> stop racism with Inkwitch. Hey, yo, wait a second. I I guess that word, yeah, that, that word's fine. <laughs> you know, I... Oh, no. I didn't even take that into account. <laughs> okay, you have to be in water. You... You get... Okay. Naturally spawn in the nether. Um, heavily damaged by water and snow. Okay. <laughs> Gojo! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you just... You are Gojo? Domain expansions. <laughs> ah, I see. What is this lore page? What is this page? What the? <laughs> you just... They're straight up Gojo. <laughs> ah, Rolo. No, you're good. Welcome in. <laughs> Jogo. <laughs> What the? Welcome in, Rolo. How are you doing? <laughs> Joe Goat. Yes, yes. Satoru Gojo. Alien Axolotl. Interesting. <laughs> Spoiling Jujutsu Kaisen? Okay, okay. Uh, I, I swapped, I swapped. Golden space gods and crashed landed onto the planet. Huh? <laughs> Touching kelp's kelp gives you regeneration, blindness, and slowness. Ugh. Can't sleep above y equals sixty-three, so you have to sleep in water. Naturally, three blocks tall, weak to fire. Two less hearts. Ugh. <laughs> Reject death. Return to. Uh. You float for a while whenever you're low on health. No slow falling. Ah, I see. You're weaker and slower in the nether. 
You're a parasite. Dealing damage to wolves gives you the strength potion effect for a short while. Interesting. Slight speed boost? What is this? I uh, have no idea. Anomaly! Oh. Not spoiled, just a cousin, right? Alright, guess we won't hear about the greatness of our Lord and Savior. Jill Goat. How weak to fire? Uh. Take extra fire damage? Probably 1.5. There was the Art Witch, which was four times damage. Well, you take four times damage from fire. Ugh. Once an ancient star, now unstable energy. What? Can't sleep, which is rough. Interesting. Starlight in you greatly weakens during the day. Careful at nightfall. Hmm. But it's made of pure energy, so it's slightly transparent, and you don't seem to have bones? Time, space, who dis? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Teleportation. Periodically fade away, causing hunger. Interesting. Artificial construct, probably like the robot. Hey, T-Rex people Demon, how's it going? <laughs> uh, SP fans will only play Anomaly? Probably. Probably. <laughs> uh, can also be a slime, from what I know. Yeah, you can be a slime. Anomaly is basically minks from One Piece. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. Automaton. You slowly get rust, and you have to have... <laughs> oh my goodness. Power saving, elemental, deathless. Ugh. Interesting. So you have to manage steam. Bed Rockian. <laughs> no fall damage, no fire damage. Have natural protection. Can't hold a shield. Can break stone without a pickaxe. Don't eat food. Fall way faster. I believe. Can break nether. Can make bedrock. Can break bedrock with a netherite pickaxe. Interesting. Immune to drowning, starvation. Oh, sink underwater. Gain slowness. Oh my, extra health. Slower. Don't need to. Uh, don't need to eat. Mine faster. Oh my goodness. But half a heart each second and a half. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Things you DM'd me don't make sense. Uh, what did I do? Did I DM you? I DM'd you... Um, oh, we're, sorry, we're getting, we're still getting things set up. It's not quite ready to go. I, I think I'm the first person besides the mod pack creators to join after the most recent update. So as soon as they get the next update out onto Foofy's server, then we can have people start joining. Most overpowered guy can break better. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's seeming. Oh my. <sighs> you can be immune to all damage. Cost, speed, strength. Takes much longer to, for you to heal. What the heck? Oh, Common folk. What do you mean? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what you call. But just... We're, we're still getting it set up. We're still kind of doing testing and testing versions. Um, because from last update, we've lost everything. We're all, we are all freshly restarting. So we don't want to have people join in and then we have to restart the server and everyone loses everything. So we're kind of doing kind of beta testing right now, if that makes sense bird. We have multiple birds. Wait, that's a burb. Oh yeah, these ones <laughs> take more damage. No way of using a shield. <laughs> wow. More armor. 
Uh, way less damage with arrows. Prefer to eat seeds. Ride on their players. Interesting. Oh yeah, and if you if you like dive into somebody, like say you hit them with a sword as you're in the air, it'll deal normal damage. But if you're just standing on the ground and you hit someone, it deals half damage. Oh, burb. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you sorry for, Rolo? <laughs> Blazing. We have three different Blaze origins. Broodmother. I guess you're a spider. Uh, summon cobwebs, summon other spiders, lime, take extra damage from Bane of Arthropods, extra hearts is cool, spawn an abandoned mineshaft, that's interesting, Mara, uh, climb, do not need oxygen, what does that mean? Critically weak to fire. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Whenever you hit people, you can... Well, lose your bio weapon to rot, rot away whatever caught in your ire. Okay, active ability. Interesting. Interesting. Copper golem. You need to shave off the rust. You can only eat uh, beeswax. Corrupted wither. Um... Went to water, unwieldy, hungry, skirmish, interesting. Dark mage, no. Oh, uh, death sworn, no. Fine architect, what is this one? Distrust, okay. You get like way weakened when near other players and villagers and stuff. Ugh. Go underwater without water popping? Yeah. No, there's a bunch of things that are underwater and stuff. Fine chain, those ones are cool. Earth spirit. Skin looks like stone. Being straight. Wait, being rock. Come on. What's rock? Skin strength, resistance, and slowness. Hmm. The rock body becomes spiritual. Interesting. Ebonwing. Hydrophobia. Carnivore. Large appetite. Blood meter. Ugh. End mage. Nope. Fallen angel. Nope. So I'm skipping over some of the ones that have way too many downsides and are way like niche, if that makes sense. Flee. Interesting. <laughs> Afflicted with a random negative status effect. You are barely three pixels tall. What the? <laughs> Four hearts of health. Oh, is there just like a normal human origin? Yeah. No, there, there is normal. Frog, ghast, giant. I really like the giant one. Leather armor gives you as much protection as iron. Twice the size of a regular person, so we're four blocks tall. Uh, bows and crossbows break after one use. They're like single flat fire. Pick flea for the memes. I I will not. I'm not gonna pick flea for the memes. <laughs> that is, <laughs> yeah. Four hearts. <laughs> Three pixels tall is so funny. That is so funny. <laughs> Zero fall damage. Doesn't take any damage from cactus, thorns, anything like that. But. <laughs> oh, are there D&D &D origins? I don't know, actually. I'm not even sure we're halfway through this list, to be honest. I have no idea how long this list is. Okay, but giants, four blocks tall. Projectile weapons are single shot, pretty much. My friend, but he's kind of short. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's a no. Yeah, no. Um, huge heart. Twice as much health. Hunger drains 50% faster. That is rough. Jump twice as high so you can jump two blocks high. 33% more reach. You can reach seven, eight blocks. Projectiles go twice as far. You don't slip on ice. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> this is the one that I like the most. You can pick up other players, or other players can ride you, 
and you can throw them. <laughs> okay. We're unaffected by levitation, but incapable of using elytra. Can slam the ground, creating a small explosion and throwing off passengers. You need four beds to sleep. You attack a lot slower, take up three times damage from spiders, deal 33% more melee damage and 50% more knockback, take less fall damage and less knockback, and mine 50% faster. Fall a lot faster, can't float in water, can't ride animals or vehicles. Never mind. If we're making trains, that one's awful. <laughs> BVZ Gargantuan. Yeah, yeah. What a big butt. Yeah, honestly. Honestly. Very large. Glacier. Okay. Uh, okay. Powdered snow, no freezing. Hot biomes, can't use special abilities. Able to walk on water by turning it into ice. Okay, interesting. Can't sleep when it's not cold enough. Head of your bed needs to be adjacent to at least three blocks that belong to snow or ice block tags. Interesting. Noel. Noel is pretty cool. Benefit from the hunger effect. Tower over humans. I don't think you can wear armor at all, which is interesting. Or maybe there's a special Noel armor. You can see clearly at night. Being under half health increases all of your stats. I kind of like this one a lot. I do like gnolls. They're a pretty cool species. Golden Golem. Oh. Gold like color. Ghoulian. Interesting. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna speed through the rest. Kirins are cool. I do like that. Light Mage. I believe they get. Yeah, they get a bunch of regeneration, healing, and resistance effects. It's pretty cool. Draconian. Cool. Oh. Flying. But you're small. And slowness in the sun. Take two times damage from fire. Less health. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's from D&D. Gnolls are epic. Yeah. So it's gnolls. Have high skill soon? Maybe. Yeah, I can see how that would be the case, actually. Chains of Death. Uh, kind of like the Dullahan. Another magma. Okay, interesting. Mothling. Three less hearts. So you have seven hearts. Electro wings, yeah. Um, can only eat leather and rabbit hide. That is awful. Can only wear a mix of iron and chainmail. Ugh. In weakness in the light. Ugh. Oh wait, no. Mining fatigue when nearby a soul lantern. Why? Huh. Five hearts. Ugh. Yoink! <laughs> when hit by an opponent, there's a chance to replace their currently held item with a wooden hoe. That is awful. <laughs> Mothling sounding a tiny bit OP? Uh, I don't, maybe. 7 HP. Automatic elytra. Can take off. Regeneration. I mean, the main thing is you can't wear you can't wear diamond or netherite armor. You have to wear iron or chainmail. Well, a mix of the two. You can only eat leather and rabbit hide. So, I don't know. Again, with the moth boys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nine tails. Water damage. I mean, to fall damage. Fire immunity. Nine health. Uh, can store nine items. Shoot fireballs. Interesting. Panopticon. Slender body speed boost. Body spanner flow. Uh, piercing glare. Interesting. Toggle seeing entities through blocks. Okay, interesting. Interesting. If... Can I have a netherite sword now? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> this mod add new armor? There's a lot of mods, so I believe there are a whole bunch of different armors. Pixie, wings, elytra, no fall damage. Can eat meat. We're four times smaller. Five less hearts. So you have five hearts, but you are... You are a slab tall. You are one slab tall. Permanent luck and a warming aura. Not you to use fireworks, as you can gain a forwards and upwards boost by using your magic. Okay, Pixie's kind of cool. Okay, okay. Ram stuff, fresh air. Okay, that's the same as the other one. Ryu. Ah, okay. And see mobs within a 32 block radius for a short time. Interesting. You were used to all negative status effects. You were 2.5 blocks tall. Interesting. Um, there's probably better armor than netherite. Yeah, and if you can't wear any armor higher than iron, that's pretty rough. Um, interesting. You're only used to potions that cause damage. Healing potions won't affect you. Ring boost is reduced when you're it's too low. Launch yourself into the air. Natural protection. Take more fall damage. Okay, Ryu's pretty good. <laughs> Shadow form, interesting. Shadow crawler. No. The thing is, I spirit ram. Interesting. Okay. Thing is, I want to play this super bow type for what I can tell. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to play this super socially. So, I don't really want to be anything that will get me in trouble with other people by just being around them. <sighs> Quicker on your feet. Fall gently to the ground. Immune to poison, hunger, and decay. Fire damage. Less health. Ride on others. Starboy! Hmm. Whoa, during the nighttime you gain speed 2 and strength 2. Take more fire and lava damage. Immune to wither. While in a light level of 7 or lower, gain 50% attack speed. Cannot wear a helmet. And holding another star, you gain resistance too. Ooh, slowness and weakness during the day. I see, I see. Slow <laughs> me and IRL. Ah, I see. Can make a taxi service? Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Technomancer. What the? You have a mana? You have grappling hook? Healing aura? Laser beam? <laughs> what the heck? Nanite shield. What the? In tech mana, naturally, as the world often brings little bits of electrical energy. Interesting. Can build a redstone contraption to regain your mana. What the heck? There are so many. Wailing one? What is this? <laughs> like a banshee? Warden, warforged, robot, warper. Oh! Redstone guy, I can tell, have a high skill ceiling. Yeah, no, I can, yeah. That redstone one can be super good, but you'd have to manage your mana super well. 112, how'd you see? Where'd you see it? <laughs> Did it say? <laughs> I don't know why it held that for, you know. Ugh, oh my. Random, okay, and back to human, okay. No. 
There's a massive list of origins. <sighs> okay. The wiki? Help! Oh, no. Okay. What are we thinking, guys? Saw the most response for insect. Let's go back and read the insect one. Uh, where was it? Or Knoll. Knoll was cool, too. Okay, let's re... What was the difference between... Oh, the... Okay. The difference between insect and moth is the light thing. Insect? Insectual giant? That was what I was thinking, too. Climb walls, no fire dam... Well... Climb walls, no fall damage... Whenever you hit an entity, you heal. You can launch yourself in the air. Only have six hearts. That was the only downside to Insect, is you only have six hearts. Insect? Yeah, no, Insect is... Insect sounds very good. A flying Insect or Null? Insect pot? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's look at Noel again as well. <laughs> the Gojo one. It's so funny. Alright, Noel. Strong, large, carrying eater with a temper. Diet is restricted to meat. You can't eat vegetables. Do not suffer from the hunger effect. In fact, you benefit from it. So I'm pretty sure you gain... I'm pretty sure you gain strength, speed and regeneration while you have the hunger effect. Which is amazing. Peppa Pig is over two meters tall. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that meme, actually. That was that was very funny to learn. Okay. You tower over humans, making their armor too small for you. Okay, is there... Is there null armor in the Origins mod? Is there armor to make gnolls? Armor can make insect fine. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, the only thing you gotta worry about is... Um... Water. Like, just water giving you slowness, and then... Have less health. So you could be stronger by eating rotten flesh. Yeah, that's the idea, I think. You have all these mythical classes in the corner that just have Gojo. Yeah, that's so funny. I love just a random Gojo. Um, I'm looking... I'm looking it up right now. Um, Knoll Origin. Um, Combat Focused Origin. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um... Let me see, let me see. Um, Origins mod, no armor? No origin mod data pack? Maybe, maybe. No could be cool, though. Okay, but it is a, it is a combat focused. So I don't really want to do that, because I don't think we'll be doing much combat besides PvE. Noel could be so good for PvP. If you run like a PvP wilds-based server, Noel could be amazing. Because they gain... At half health, they get increased knockback, resistance, speed, and toughness. And then if they're hunger if they're under the hunger effect, they have regeneration. And Okay. This could be really good for PvP. But I do like the idea of insect. I do love the ha ah, no, insect. We're going insect. Right? Are insects small? Let me see. 
Uh, your small stature allows you to move quicker. Okay, so they all they are smaller. I'm not sure how much smaller. Ad advancement. Is someone following me? I'm getting stalked by Harrowbrine still. Okay. Very well. Okay. <sighs> there are classes too? <laughs> oh my. Insect pog. Yep, we're an insect. We're insect boys. There are classes too, though. Farmer, rancher, miner, lumberjack, cook, blacksmith, cleric, merchant, explorer, warrior, archer, rogue, beastmaster. What is that? Animals you tame received a permanent buff to their health and strength. Nice. Oh boy. Why? Indeed, why? This one's a lot easier, though. You cut down whole trees at once unless you sneak. Gain two more wooden planks from a single log when crafting. Lumberjack for the theme is very good. I I mean Lumberjack for for my theme is excellent. Interesting, that's actually hilarious. Increased accuracy from projectiles. Okay. Cleric is cool. Oh, no, it's just potion brewing and stuff. No, not classes. Warrior with null? Yeah. Lumberjack or stop the stream? No, we're, we're going Lumberjack. I was just looking at what else they had. Yeah, yeah. I mean... There's no other one I could pick. Realistically, there is no other class for me to pick. Oh dear, I am a block tall. Okay, well, uh... Lower FOV back to normal so we don't look like we're going supersonic speed. Why is my sensitivity so high? Um, mouse settings? Let's turn this down. I wonder if it's the speed effect that I have. Or it's just because I'm smaller. Okay, that's better. Um, okay. Third person? Oh yeah. Is that... It's a five, right? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Nice. We are... Alright. We are small. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> nice. Slow falling? Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Tiny Jack. <laughs> what? What was that noise? Okay. Oh. Wait, I can't. Am I lagging to destroy these blocks, or is it just because we're in spawn and I can't destroy the blocks? Okay, a little bit of stuttering issues, it looks like. Um, uh, what, do you take fall damage by falling and slow falling? No! I don't take fall damage at all, Rolo. <laughs> I am immune to fall damage. <laughs> oh my, okay. Okay, the stuttering issues have to stop. Um, let's turn turn this down to ten. We'll see if that helps. All the clouds, fancy. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Um, blackface culling. Okay, I think we're fine. Okay. Should be a little bit better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, once common folk join, I already know what class and origin to pick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Should I should I play in third person? <laughs> oh my. Okay, it seems a little bit stuttery. What was Ah, Molo? <laughs> Buddy. Really? Is that necessary? Insect and archer? Ooh, that sounds fun. <laughs> but hey. Oh, wait, what? Theoretically, there's a way to know how many people were born in your bloodline from the time Jesus was born. Huh, okay. It's so formula X times B times 2. Where X is the current year and B number of births per century. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> but hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Yeah? Third person is pretty good. Actually, what is... What is stutter fix? Wait. The smaller the value, the less CPU overhead, reducing stuttering. So wait, if I take this down to two... Okay, I, I think it just stutters... Hmm, I don't know, I don't know. Great, great Lumberjack, second person? Huh. Not... Hello? <laughs> there's, uh, there's a dead body here. What is that? Ah. Interesting. I didn't mean to put that on. Oh my. I, I, oh, hello. I should call Kevin. Spot Herobrine for the first time. Okay, well, there was Herobrine. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's just a dead person right here. Interesting. Uh, that's concerning. Okay, what were... What were my abilities? I should... I should get somewhere safer. <gasps> there we go. And we're safe. To, uh, check our controls and our keybinds. <laughs> no, let's see. What is that noise? Okay, O is that. Let's see if we can put that to here. Um. Okay. Ah, jumping in the air, you were launched slightly in a direction of the courser. Cursor, you glide for a short time. Okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. Make a grave. Ah. Wait, if you beat up Herobrine, he won't hit you if you don't hit him, for what I know of. Yeah, yeah. Born and raised at Food Theory. Got it. Let me actually see. Yep. Zero fall damage. Oh yeah, walk on water. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Wait. Get, climb. Climb the wall. Oh, toggle with button four. Ah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Am, am I doing it? I... Oh, yeah, I am. Let me find some deeper water, maybe. Ah, here we go. Ah, yeah! <laughs> nice! That or a different project? Ah, yeah, yeah. 
I don't know what that noise is. Oh, what was that? What the heck? What is that? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Ball to raise. We out here. Um. Let's make a... And ride inside a boat and fall any height without taking damage. Yep, I do know that one. Ah, uh, yeah? What up? What up? B. Um, okay. What up? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wait. Get a depth strider and be so fast in water. Oh, yeah. Wait, do I have okay? Also, only says nine pages of crafting recipes. Whoa. Oh, yeah, we do have the archers from the RPG series, so you can go heavily archer based. Like, you can wear the archer armor. Which gives you extra projectile damage and speed. And wield, I don't know, a netherite longbow, which deals 12 projectile damage. Well, cool. spent one hour and 13 minutes choosing a class and origin. Wow. Okay. Then we should get into some Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can break blocks with my fist. <laughs> Ooh, I did not think I would take that long, but yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> One block tall. Amazing. Um, yeah. Depth Strider on water and being super fast is a good plan. Ah! Are tools scaled down too? Um... I mean, all blocks are, it looks like. So I'm assuming yes. A little bit laggy. I mean, small brain is actually way better for boxers. <laughs> Less chances to get knocked out. Mm, I see, I see. Gonna be a little goblin holding a sword two times your size? No, I think it'll just be. I think it'll just be a little toothpick sword. Yeah, so it, the the tools are scaled down as well. Sadly, <laughs> I wish they were still. I wish they were still the normal size. That would be so funny. Ah, yes. Indeed. Oh, and it goes onto my hip. Cool. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I was just falling. So I guess the difference between insect and moth is that I can't actually fly. I can take off a little bit, but then I just glide. But the uh, the moths, I think, can use a... Okay, bye, Herobrine. I think the moths have like a takeoff ability, and then they actually have elytra to fly around. Try and drop a tool. Oh my, it is tiny! <laughs> what the... What is with the sound effects, man? <laughs> you guys see that? <laughs> the tool is like... Three pixels... Three pixels wide, and three pixels tall. 
That is so funny. <laughs> Item frames. I wonder if item frames work like that. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm so down. There's a fun, not quite popular game, but I have no idea why it's not. What is it? What is the game, Philin? It's called Vintage Story. I love that game. Alright, time to take another snapshot of chat to look it up later. What if another person drops a tool but feels so small? I, I wonder if it changes it to my size, though. It like I... It oh, to... dude, why? Why did the audio suddenly turn on? Sorry about that. Yeah, because not all items are small. So I guess if somebody drops something... It's gonna look massive compared to me. Oh, look, that the freaking the thing is on my back. That's amazing. It's like Minecraft <laughs> FT, pretty pricey too. Twenty three dollars. Ooh, okay. I'll look into it still. That's pretty interesting. They're pink. There's pink over here on the map. Let's go see. So what do you mean, Minecraft? Vintage story? Oh, looks like Minecraft with a texture pack. Oh. Interesting. I should probably grab some stone. Ah, yes. Ah, yeah, level four. Congrats, congrats. I forgot about it. Sorry about that. I did not see it there for a second. Do we have Vein Mine? The Miner class automatically gets a Vein Mine, but I do want to see if we have any sort of Vein Mine. There's teams. Um... Cave dust? What the heck? Okay. Interesting. Um, fancy block particles. I might want to turn those off. Freaking inventory sorting by Jade. So good. Supplementaries. Okay, quivers. Homes. Project Odyssey. Ooh. Traveler's Backpack. Nice. <laughs> Female gender mod, of course. Of course. Okay. Um. Cave does. No. Wait, what? Bot Rix. Why? Why did Bot Rix time you out? Um. Dang it. Sorry, Philin. Don't use bad words. What? Bot Rix, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I I changed it so the Bot Rix times out. Timeouts are only a couple of seconds, so you should be fine. You should be fine. But I don't know why. Also has a build built-in class system. Did it tell you why? Hmm. Interesting. Sorry about that, Philin. Should be fine. Hmm. Um, I think I saw three letters in class. <laughs> yeah, I don't... That shouldn't be the case, though. Because it should only pick up the full word. What is this? Oh. <laughs> no, you're good, Philin. I changed it to only be a couple of seconds. For that reason. I don't know. Yeah. Getting used to bot rigs me. Oh, and about that? Yeah. Yeah. Also, fancy block particles. Will that turn that off? Yeah, okay. So it stops the block particles from being cubes. 
interesting. But yeah. I don't know why Botrix is... Wait, no! I... Because it did the sh it did the same thing with shenanigans, didn't it? So dumb, Botrix. Uh, um, I had that problem with the word. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, I'm gonna. Botrix's sensors don't work well for some stupid reason. Um, let me see. Uh, no, it was that one. So weird. So I can't have that one. Uh, can't have that one. I guess that's fine. Yeah. Alright, Barrix's sensor should be fine. Um, so fun seeing a block high player. It's a tree, tree down in one hit. That would be so funny. Oh, wait, I completely forgot. I need an axe, though. Barrix needs his meds. Ah, yes. Silly, silly Barrix. Yeah. Barrix should be better now. I'll just have to change it, so... No. Only the full word of certain words gets censored and whatnot. Um, yes, I was getting stone. What are those noises? It's so weird. Yeah, I was getting stone so I could build an axe, so I can actually use the tree, the lumberjack perk. I'm very excited. But also, what are these pink trees over here? <laughs> Yo, that sounds so funny, running on the stone. <laughs> that sounds so funny. These cherry trees over here? Ah, yeah, they are. Nice. Um, also, if you plan on playing Venture Sword with your friends, you know, rent a serve on the official website. Ah, link link me up if you will. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, that sounds good. That sounds good. I will be sure to do that if we end up playing that. Boom. X. Let's see it. Cut down trees in one hit from this tiny... Oh, wait. This is a tiny, tiny cherry grove biome. Just this little hillside right here. This cherry grove. Um, wait, is it because you are small? The sound effect of the steps? Yeah, I think it's because I'm small. I have a speed boost. Oh, yep, there goes the tree. One hit. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna be so good at chopping down trees. This tiny little insect man. <laughs> also, spring day one. Massive. Perfect cherry grove for a hobbit. Hey, yeah, you're right, you're right. Even thickness won't stop a professional lumber. <laughs> that is... That's a sentence, alright. That is... One hell of a sentence. <laughs> I wish we had quick leaf decay on. That'd be huge. Also, wait. Six. Yes. Every time I make planks, I get six in return. Ho, 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 ho. 
Nice. I it'll it'll probably just be me today. Everyone else has uh, a late day today, but I'm excited to get on with people later in the day. Um, look your axe damage. Oh yeah, yeah. I I think it takes one for every block it breaks. Cherry Grove Hobbit Hole. Yeah, yeah. I mean the axes aren't. Uh, that looks like a normal amount of damage it would have taken for cutting down that tree. It might be a little bit more. But, that's not bad. It's not too bad. Let's see. Let's get rid of this tree as well so all of those leaves can decay. <laughs> that's so fun. Wait! Those trees were connected, so it chopped it all down in one go. Nice. Um, three plus hours? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Wait, or three plus H? Yeah. I... I'm very excited to play with other people on this server. Wait, F3 plus H? What does that do? I'm a little worried. Oh, advanced tooltip shown? Oh. Oh. <gasps> I didn't know that! That's amazing! So yeah, it looks like it just takes the full durability of cutting down the tree instead of just one durability. Which makes sense. <laughs> I love the little pitter-patters. So good. Yeah, more cherry blossom saplings. Also, I am looking to build... My plan is to build a Ryokan. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a Japanese inn and bathhouse. Kind of in one. So, I will be building out of a lot of cherry, having the Sakura blossoms and all that. Um, but... Kind of... Kind, kind of being a safe haven near spawn. <laughs> Just don't do Alt-F4. Yeah, I, I do know Alt-F4. But I did not know about that advanced tooltip thing. That's amazing. And now I know. Um, so yeah, I, I will be building a fairly large building fairly close to spawn. And that's my plan. To get free diamonds, you gotta clap two times, spin around four times, jump, land on your tiptoes, and press Alt F4. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. One, two, three, four, Ooh. Joking, joking. Um, you should probably save some cherry blossom logs then. Oh, for sure, for sure. F3 plus Q? I'm not... Um... Well, I guess he didn't lead me astray before. Oh! <gasps> what the... What the heck? Oh my goodness! Rolo, you're amazing. This is really showing, really showing that I'm old and I don't know the recent, <laughs> you know, effects and stuff. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's some more saplings. Ooh. I'm going to make this a little bit better of a uh, cherry blossom forest, I think. Old? You're not old. At least don't sound old. I'm fairly old. <gasps> Is that a chipmunk? Or a squirrel? It's a squirrel! From Ecologics. 
Cool. Jack, when was the first time you played Minecraft? Um, I played beta Minecraft, actually. I think I was trolling a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I, I played like... Well, maybe not beta. No, I did play beta Minecraft. Back when it first came out on a laptop. Um, not for very long. I wasn't a huge fan. But then I played again at like 1.3-ish. <laughs> I wish I could ride the squirrel. Oh my, that would be so funny. That would be so good. Ride the squirrel. Oh my goodness. That would be amazing. Also... Time isn't passing. You guys see this? <laughs> oh. Um... Had a bad shave? Gotta do one in the morning. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I, I don't frequently shave. I'd let my beard grow. A couple of very few times I've shaved is getting a uh, tree sap in the beard. And that sucks. Hated that. Um, I wish I could, I wish I could ride the, the, the squirrel. The funny thing is, I think I can pick the squirrel up. Yep. <laughs> I am the, 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 the horse for the squirrel. <laughs> uh, yeet. Yeet. There you go. The insect has broke Minecraft. <laughs> Beard at 16 crazy. I look like a hobo. Ah. I see. I see. I, I think I had a beard. Not a full beard. Oh, I do get slowness in the rain. Mm. I was expecting it to happen, but I wasn't sure. Because rain is considered water. <laughs> Name him Jerome. <laughs> I'll find one. I'll find. Not even touching. Yeah, I... a little too small. A little too small to... No, <laughs> the... Pickup mod, I believe is what it's called. I don't think it was meant to work with being a block tall. <laughs> Just dash around everyone in the rain? I wonder if I can. Okay, I can. <gasps> Wait! My fly meter grew. I think. I'm pretty sure gaining experience and levels levels up your uh, your racial benefits and class benefits and stuff. Interesting. You're not even a block tell. Yeah, I guess I'm not, am I? I wonder if I crouch if I can fit underneath slabs. <laughs> Those noises. They're pretty cool, though. You're like 0. 0.7? Yeah, pretty much. The, uh... Yeah, the... If you're the moth class... Well, moth race. Origin. Let's do origin. If you are the moth origin... In the rain, you can't fly. Even with your, um... Stuff. <laughs> yeah, I can't say that anymore. Just, yeah. We'll, we'll go with origin <laughs> instead. That works. That works. Um, you seem slower even with dashing. Yeah. Yeah. No. Because it's the slowness effect, so it applies to all movement. Yeah. <laughs> Don't cancel me. Racial benefits in Minecraft. We'll say origin benefits, though. My origin benefit is being able to dash around like a bird. Some nice iron. Uh, did you put a waypoint? Yes, I put a waypoint for spawn. I don't think I can teleport to it, but I'll be able to get back to it pretty quickly. When I need to, and if I need to. 
<laughs> yeah, be, be careful. Oh, hey, a creeper. Oh, because it's raining. Yes. I'm going to need food very, very soon. Let's head over to this village. Hello, creeper. How's it going? Goodbye. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Your pockets are as limitless as redacted. Yeah? <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, what up? What up, Kale? Interesting. Elytra plus dashing? Yeah, probably. That'd probably be massive. Oh! Oh! <gasps> the animated doors! Very good. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Um, I have to go. Have a nice day. Yeah! For sure. Have a nice one. Thanks for joining in and hanging out, man. Have a good one. Always lovely to have you here. Always lovely to have all of you here. Bye, Cavalier! Yeah. The fire works with iron, gold, the other ores besides netherite? Oh, fortune! Yes, yes. Fortune works with everything. Um... Yeah, besides probably modded ores, I would imagine. Unless they drop other things. But yeah, ancient debris obviously won't work. Um. <laughs> I think I even fall slowly. Actually, wait. Is it a thunderstorm? Can I sleep? No, but I did set my spawn, which is good. <laughs> I love how the doors don't spawn in until I'm, like, right up on them. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Jack, prediction for when server will be open for the common folk? I I think we'll open it as soon as we get things finalized. Because we're still updating the mod list pretty much every day. Every day I've had to install a new mod list to play. So, um, that's not on me. That will be up to uh, Bet Leader and Killaze and them, the people actually running the server. Um, right now, I have no idea. Also, lag. Um. Quality? Fast. Fast weather. Um. Particles decreased. Okay. We'll do that. Hope it fixes it a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. This has been an insane work in progress. We are still... We are working on it very heavily. Night and day to get it good and ready to go. But I look forward to when we can actually open it up to a bunch more people. Um, Foofy and Ice should be playing it tonight. Hey, welcome back to your Damon. Um, will it be PvP when it opens up? I don't believe so. I think it'll just be very social and cooperative. Um, Jack, what do you think I should buy? Quantum Nuka-Cola from Fallout 4 in real life? Or a set of customizable dumbbells? I, I love my customizable dumbbells. So, you do you. Um, when did the server start? I'm the first one playing on the server. Um, after the reset, I am the first person playing on the server. I think maybe Bet Leader did some exploration and troubleshooting and testing, but 
this is the first time anyone's actually playing on it in survival, like without cheats and stuff. So, today. The server started today. How much time I got? I got another hour. Hour and a half, maybe. Um, also, is Create still in the mod pack? I believe it is. I believe it's actually centered around Create. Yep. So here's all of the Create stuff. I do think they added... They added Chip. So there's a bunch of good-looking blocks you can make. Make dog beds? Interesting. Um... So they still have Looter... They have Exposure, which is all the um, camera stuff. Ecologics adds a bunch of cool, like, Walnut, Azalea, all that. Paladins and Priest is still in here. Uh, create Steam and Rails is all st still in here. We got Runes, Chisels and Bits. Uh, Travelers... Ooh, excuse me. Travelers Backpacks. Um, supplementaries? Ooh, nice. I love supplementaries. Very good. Um, supplementaries adds a lot of good stuff. Nice. Very excited. Very excited. Um, evil laugh. Yes. Yes. Um, what is the goal for the stream? Get to the nether? Goodness, no. Nah. Oh, uh, what's our today? Yeah, the, the server. Sorry, T-Rex. Um... I'm not sure if I answered you in time before you left, but um, we are still in the very heavy process of getting things set up and finalized. So that's why that's why we haven't like um, the channel in Foofy's server is pretty outdated. Um, we're kind of running a lot of testing finalizing and all that. As soon as we... Well, all of the testing and stuff is because we had to... We've had to reset the world several times. So... We didn't want to have people join in just for them to lose all of their progress. Because that's pretty frustrating. So we're waiting until we actually have everything finalized before we get other people in. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, the time for t picking a class and job took 1 hour and 13 minutes. Hey, I mean, picking a job only took like 2 minutes. So, that's that, that's fair. Hey, there's no big cannons or the factory must grow. I don't get a napalm or <laughs> building an airstrike defense. Nah, no. Um, someone makes a hide-and-seek map. Could be fun. Yeah, hide and seek could be a lot of fun actually. With all the different <laughs> with all the different origins and stuff. <laughs> you got a giant hiding in a tree or something. That'd be so funny. Yeah. So T-Rex, we'll keep you updated on when we open it up finally and stuff. But uh, yeah, for right now it's uh we're still very heavily in the process of getting everything finalized. We want to have a bunch of people in it, just to, you know, build up camaraderie and invite friends and stuff. Um, but we don't want everyone to constantly be losing their progress if we need to reset the world again. The flea origin! Yeah, imagine! Three pixels tall? Oh my goodness. But then again, if you're like the specter class, you can see people through walls. So, it could be very balanced, actually. Because a lot of the classes have a way to... Are the footsteps too loud? I think they are. Um. Yeah, people being able to see you through walls. <laughs> it could be actually very balanced. If you get someone that choose, chose Spectre or anything like that.
Yeah. <laughs> the flea origin being three pixels in size. <laughs> My goodness. You could fit through a bit block. Because the bit blocks are one sixth. Like it's just this little corner. You could fit through that. <laughs> ESP without hacks can't be banned. Yeah, yep. Um, I want to dig in a huge lab with a tall can inside. So I could fire it 200 plus blocks. Oh my goodness. That sounds insane. Insanely fun, that is. But yeah. I... We didn't want to have any of the cannons and stuff. Because... People would build them outside of, like, a claim and just shoot somebody's house down. If that makes any sense. It's expensive, too. Yeah, yeah. Um... My goal for this stream is get settled in, find a place to build, probably. Nothing too exciting, but not much else to expect from a <laughs> first episode. 25 gunpowder charges? Sheesh. Um, Spectre seems kind of meh as well. What's the point of EXP without the server being... ESP, without the server being... Yeah, yeah. Same with the null. That's kind of what I was thinking. I wish there was a way you could make the PvP classes PvE. Um, like the Null, maybe it gained Haste and Dolphin's Grace as well, when it's under half health, or Starving or something like that. So you could take, you could take those benefits and apply them to more than just PvP. Because I did kind of want to be a Null. That sounded... That sounded very cool. Chisels and bits? Yeah, chisels and bits. What was it? Bits? Bits. No, nope. bit. Yeah. So, the bit blocks. I wonder if I can make one right now. Uh, andesite. Cobblestone bit. No, I cannot. Wrench. Bits. How do you make bits, though? Hmm. Maybe with a chisel. You can carve it down into bits. Um. Uh. I'm changing three gunpowder pieces. Wow. I'm back soon. All right, Phil. Thanks for joining and hanging out. Look forward to having you back. Be safe. Be well. Let's see, though. So I do want to build near-ish to spawn. But obviously not right on spawn, because it's protected. Um. Okay. I think... 10 iron? Okay. That's enough to at least start us off with some iron tools. Or even armor, I guess. Jack! Look at Matt. Yeah? What's up? Whoa! That looks cool. That terrain generation is something else. That's for sure. Smo! <laughs> Chisels and bits? You can legit have pixels taken out of a block. Yeah. Maybe build on the snowy coastline? Oh, that might look nice. That might. But that's a pretty far ways away from spawn. But yeah, a house out here would be very good. Let's actually go look at right here. I want to see. I want to go see that terrain. That might look very good. Um, also, don't remember when, but around two weeks ago. I told you that I don't think I'll be getting a GF soon, eh? Did you get a GF? <laughs> Did you get a, a GF fill-in? If you did, congrats, man. Congrats. Mm hmm Nice. <laughs> I fall so slowly. <laughs> 
How for how long do I have to be on the ground? Is it until my slow falling wears off? Oh, it is. It's the next time I'm on a solid block after the slow falling wears off. That's pretty nice. Whee! Okay. Wait for her to visit Russia? Oh. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay, that could look very nice as well. Splash water bottles to extinguish fire. Yeah. Mm. Maybe not, though. I can't, I can't TP to waypoints, can I? <laughs> no. No peep. No teleport permissions. Whee! <laughs> yeah, that, that'll be something. I wish you the best. Oh. Whee! <laughs> it does take a long time to fall. Oh, I'm so excited for Foofy and Ice to join. Um, I mean, Jack? Yeah? What's up? What's up? I, I do kind of want to build on that snowy coastline. That would look very good. But I do also kind of want to build... Whoa, a little bit laggy. Okay. Um, right around here, maybe, could be very nice. Um... <laughs> could make two nether portals, one from Spawn to the Snow Coast. I guess we could. I guess that's an option. Um. If I should hit the fire with your hand. Yeah, that's true. Well, I wonder. Because there are the, um. There are the origins that you take extra damage from fire. And there are origins where you take damage from even being near fire. So I wonder. If it hurts you to punch fire. Just hit fire with your hand. I might build over here. I don't know why I pointed to my screen like you can see it. But over on this hillside area. I feel like this would be good. Um. Let me see. Uh, on. Um, that might be a little bit too close. I don't want to be too close. Hmm. I'll see. Let's just explore. Let's explore for the time being. Bit. There we go. Let's explore for the time being and find a place to maybe build a little a little camp. But also. <laughs> I'm still confused why there's zero time passing. I mean, I can't change that. <laughs> Maybe they're waiting for, like, a uh, Foofy and Ice to get on. To start up the time. Oh, whoops. I didn't do that. Um, let's build a small shack over on the top of this hill. Well, or we just explore. Um, making a small house or a big one? I'm going to make a big building. I might have a small house, but I am going to be mainly in a large building that I plan on making. The owner would stop the time by command. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the squirrel gods have blessed us. <laughs> With the power of stopping the sun. <laughs> Ugh, water. Remember to stay hydrated, you guys. Stay hydrated. 
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I plan on building a fairly large building. Oh, actually, have you ever seen... Have all of you seen Spirited Away? Jerome is helping you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Am I getting stalked by Herobrun? Oh, no, Jerome the Squirrel. Yes, I gotcha, I gotcha. He will be your guard. I think I go with Kale. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The squirrel, the power of the squirrels stops time. And here we are. Yeah. I wish I could play tonight so I can, you know, hop on with Foofy Ice and the creators. Just so we can actually start building a world together. But I'll have to settle for probably tomorrow night. Plus, yeah, you guys, I will mainly be streaming later at night. I will probably be streaming at the normal time, probably around noon or one, probably one o'clock central time, US. That is my kind of normal stream time. Um, and I'll probably be playing solo, but then later in the afternoon, I'll be playing with the other people on the server. Probably just be grinding things out during the day for a couple hours, and then we can get into shenanigans later at night with other people on the server. Um, <laughs> that's very interesting. That stepping that one block loads that entire hillside. Gone? Loaded in. Okay. Um, Jack! I'm scrolling through TikTok. I'm getting a random item by month. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guess what you got? What you get? Is it Minecraft? Minecraft items? Or what? Muzz 11 inch metal gumball machine. Heck yeah, man! That's awesome! <laughs> Uh, do you know what you will get for defeating Harrowbrine? Um, I don't know, actually. I have no idea. I do think you can you can sun, summon him as a boss fight. I think you need to build a pyramid out of netherite. <laughs> so, I have no idea what you would get for defeating Harrowbrine, though. Um, let's build just a small hut down here. Visible from spawn. I think that'll be a good idea. Also, I apologize for just kind of running in circles. That's my bad. I completely forget I can run on water, too. <laughs> but falling that half block slows me down, because I still have feather falling. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, Herbron is going to be easy fight with Jerome. <laughs> Yeah, Jerome, my, uh, my mighty squirrel steed. I wish. I believe... Can I... Can I ride on top of people? No, I can't ride on top of people. Um, yeah, slime balls for create mod, super glue. Yep, so this, uh, this swamp being right by spawn is very nice, actually. Mod, I know he'll get his heart. He didn't get an extra row of heart? What? Uh. Elf. No. Um. Boost. No. Uh. I don't know, man. Sounds kind of spooky to me. <laughs> Alright, let's clear out right here and stop using my uh, pickaxe to break grass with, probably. Probably be better. Heart gem? Okay. Oh, I saw him right there. You guys see him through the grass? He was standing behind that tall grass. Um... 
Heart. No, just typing in heart doesn't bring anything up. Um. Yeah. No heart gem. Or gem. No. Um. Diamond. No. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Oh, the mod is called Heart Gym. Got it, got it. <laughs> the pink is fun. I just kind of want to build a little... I can't even do that. <laughs> I can build like that, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Building in pink. I'm just gonna build a small little house. Um, it's not really even a house. Just kind of a hut. Um. So you have somewhere nice you might be able to stay off of spawn. Um. <laughs> I love taking no fall damage. Alright, alright. Hmm. I don't think that'll be enough stairs. Oh, I can't climb like that. Okay, that's fine. Um, don't take him down, he'll start breaking blocks. Ooh. What? <laughs> what, what? Aha! I, I can only jump one slab tall. Yes. Steve34, hello, how's it going? <laughs> hello, Steve. We're playing Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? Aha, there we go. Ah, uh, yes. I'm gonna need more uh, cherry logs, aren't I? Very possibly. Very plus. Doing well? How about you? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Stop boosting. Whoops. There we go. Hmm. It's not the prettiest thing. I'll tell you that much. Ay, ay, ay. Alright. It's actually not pretty at all. I know how to make it a little bit better, though. There's the combat mod. Nice. Yeah, I'm doing really well. I'm doing really well. Just hanging out. This is our fresh start in the uh, Killa SMP server. I'm going to need to go into first person for this one. Oh, whoops. fine. Maybe. No, we're not fine. Ah! I got a block placed. 
Oh, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Just a couple more. So we can just give it a nice trestled roof and whatnot. Oh, if I could stop floating and place the blocks correctly. Why? Why I gotta... MK! Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, Steve? Been playing some Minecrafts? <laughs> Sorry. Just have to make the uh, Minecraft jokes when your name is Steve. Also, I can't fall off of slabs. Because it's considered a full block for me. Interesting. Yeah, that looks hideous. Um. Oh, I still have some. Okay. Alright, alright. Drill not. <laughs> well, not much. Nice. Okay. Alright, that's all good. All good. I don't need to always have stuff going on. Why? Oh, I hit it. Nice. Yeah, so this is the start of our origin SMP industrial craft server. Kind of, in a way. Um, just put utility stuff in the floor? Oh, like furnace. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can do that. I can do that. I just, um, I need some more cherry wood. And I'll run back up here. Chest in the floor? Yeah, yeah. Well, this is, um... I'm just gonna have this kind of be a little starter kit home, in a way. There we go. Like, I'm just gonna have uh, the crafting table, the furnace, um, maybe I'll put some wood in there to help people start out. Let's do that, actually. Um, do the create mod. Yeah, we have the create mod in here. Um, there's supplementaries... Traveler's Backpacks, Bits and Chisels. Um, all of those ones, all of those ones. There's a Create mod. Yeah. So we have just the basic Create mod and then Create uh, Steam and Rails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, uh, that's kind of the basis of this mod pack we're using. Is the Create mod and industrializing... Minecraft. I think that's kind of the goal. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Got a hard day tomorrow. Gotta do a lot of animations. Have a good one, my insect friend. Thank you, Philip. Thank you. Have a good one as well. Thank you so much for joining. It's always a pleasure to have you. Um, have some good laughs and jokes going on. It's always an awesome time. Let's see. Ah. Keep wasting my boost while climbing blocks. I wish that that didn't happen. But. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Alright, let's see it. Bunk. It does take a good amount of durability, but I think it is just the normal durability of the, uh, of the tree breaking. I wish we had fast leaf decay, though. That is one thing I am missing. Um, means you're not breaking the log. You just one-shot it? Yeah. It's not even breaking, it's just, as soon as the log breaks, the tree just falls. That's amazing. 
All right. I love the the cherry blossoms and sakura blossoms. I guess sakura is cherry blossom, isn't it? Ay ay ay. Oh. About to add the hat. Yeah, yeah. No. No, we got you. We got you, Steve. I understood what you meant. Yes. Create mod is the foundation of the mod. The Spyglass FOV30 and modded zoom can be merged to make a beautiful ultra zoom. Interesting. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Oh, and once everybody else joins, we can actually kind of start to get into the lore side of things. Because we are going to have lore and backstory and plan a whole bunch of events. We have very big plans for this server. Which will... It will mainly be creators for the beginning, but obviously we are working on getting as many people as we can into it. Let's see. I can... Oh. <laughs> the insect flight makes breaking down leaves actually really easy. If I could, uh, stop slow falling and actually regain my jumps. Um, why is Ultra Zoom in other colors? No idea. I have no idea why Ultra Zoom was fancy. <laughs> Had all the fancy colors on it. Your guess is as good as mine on that one, Chief. Where's our nice pink little hut? Right there on the... <laughs> Jack, can you turn off MC music? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think it was loud enough to be... Oh, wow. To be caught in the... Uh... Yeah, it's mixing with the music playing. Yep, yep. I didn't think it was loud enough to transfer over, but I guess... I guess it was. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Hmm. We build kind of like that. Maybe have um, logs instead of planks as these supports. Okay. I thought it was quiet enough to get lost in the background, but I guess when the uh, the loud Minecraft songs start playing, it is very audible. Can't even do that. The cherry door. <laughs> ah, whoops. Kinda hard to see. A little hard to see in third person being this small.
Oh, yeah. There's our little humble abode. Hey! Get out of here! Were you invited? I don't think you were. Oh. Guess maybe I shouldn't have made all of those into planks. Oh well. It's all good. Um, let's put those in there. Just for... You know. Someone wants to do... Rebuilding and whatnot. Alright. Being small does have its perks. Yeah. Being small has perks. Like, fitting in. <laughs> I could just walk through trap doors. Let's see. What? Yeah, let's smelt some iron. Um. Get some torches. Probably. Probably a good idea. Nice. Yeah. Um, let's make a quick shovel, grab some sand. Maybe down here a little bit. Uh, well, oak isn't hard for you. Yeah, yeah. No, wood in general isn't hard for me to get. Also, <gasps> it it counts it as I'm standing on a block. Oh my goodness. How do I... How do I dive? How do I dive underwater? I... I... But I could. Why not? Uh. Wait a second. Hold on. Ugh. I can't go underwater at all. Let me. Let me under. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I, I can't go. I can't go under at all. <laughs> that seems so big because you were one block tall. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my crib. This is my uh, this is my penthouse. It's uh, man, this dance floor can fit thirty of me in it. Also, I am, <laughs> I am one ninth of a block in width. Like, I could fit nine of me in this one block. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's hilarious. I don't think you can. Can. Well, but if you walk in water. Lower. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think if I walk into flowing water, it'll put me under the water, but. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if I can enter water at all. <laughs> also, wait a second. <laughs> wait, I didn't even realize. <laughs> is, is that my nose? <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> this, this texture pack... <laughs> gave me a... Gave me a... A button nose. Or a villager nose, in a way. Hey, can you get out of my house? <laughs> Leave. Get, get out. Please, just leave. I don't want you here. <laughs> get out of my house. Wait a second. Oh, this. 
Oh, wait. I took off the lead by picking him up. Oh, cool. Now stay out of my little hut. I don't want you here. <laughs> yeah, that... Why, why do I have such a big nose? <laughs> That's actually hilarious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Need nine more. Okay, that'll be perfect, actually. Ah. There's our little hut. The little starter hut. Alright. Let me see. I need... to make sure plans tonight are still gonna go through. By the way, so you know you are talking in the game. Yes, I, I do know. I do know. Wait, is, is the Wandering Trader, I think the Wandering Trader responds to my voice. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Uh, but yes, I, I do know I'm talking again. Thank you for making sure, though. Um... Just gotta check on plans for tonight. Um. Perfect. Okay. Just making sure plans aren't falling through at all. We good, we good. Alright. Nice. Oh, I have one extra. Let's do this. Oh. Ah, makes that. Ugh. It's gonna be so hard to build a large building. Wait! I can place torches on... <laughs> huh. Okay. Um, I feel my brother leveled up. Yo, my brother leveled up. So I have to be there? Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, brother leveled up. It's your brother's birthday, Rolo? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> but you're good, you're good. Thanks for joining. Yeah. If it is your brother's birthday, happy birthday. I wish him the best. Oh, those light rays coming through the window are so nice. All right. It took him a year. He's kind of slow. Ah, I see. I see. <laughs> happy birthday, brother Rolo. Well, brother of Rolo, not... Brother Rolo. You got it. You got it. Happy birthday, friend. Wait, can I make... Can I make apple trees? Oh, you can make honeyed apples. It's a great mod. Um... Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Happy, happy level up. Brother to Rolo. I wish you the best. Hope you have fun, guys. <laughs> Three. Sapling? Oh my. Grows normally this season. Let's shift. Whoa! Okay, that's cool. Spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, cherry, dark oak, and walnut. Cool. Okay. What mod is Jerome from? Uh, I believe he's from... Um... 
Not economics. E no. What is that? Oh yeah, ecolog ecologics. Should be. Squirrel, penguin, and coconut crabs. All from the Ecologics mod. Crab claw, crab meat, tropical stew. Hmm. Sand castles. Boo hoo. <laughs> nice. Also, wait a second. Um, music. Not music disc. Um, disc? No. Jukebox? Okay. So. Why would your own be from economics? That's a really good question. Uh, yeah. E ecologics. Uh, something like that. He doesn't invest into stonks. What do you mean? Have you never heard of the, uh, the stock app called Acorns? <laughs> but I'm excited to show off the jukebox because you can put any song you want into Minecraft. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited for that. Mm-mm-mm. Apples. So good and tasty. Alright. Hey! Watch it! I need to put that into the the filter, actually. Not bad. <laughs> hmm. Um, let's see. We have another half hour. I could... I could mine downwards. Why is he missing so much health? That's interesting. Let's get a mine shaft going downwards. Just started. Should be good. Should be good. Let's, um... Start building over here. Ooh, sandstone! That can make some good looking buildings. Wait a second. <laughs> could I... Could I... I could just make it... <laughs> oh! Uh... <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh, insect has no danger from mining straight down. You know what? You're right. But also, what just happened? Uh... My Minecraft is crashing. That's first and foremost. But, uh... Huh. Hey! Stop! <laughs> Remove message. <laughs> Why is that not in the... I'll need to add those to the... I can't even see what the behind you achievement is. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I can uh, kind of fix this. <laughs> Stop saying that, Kale. <laughs> that is T O S. Um, what was it? This one? Yeah, okay. Oh. That's interesting. Oh, whoops. Uh, I... My game crashed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my, uh, my Minecraft fully crashed. Um, I'm gonna have to restart to see the aftermath of me getting jumped by Harrowbrine. <laughs> My bad, though. You're fine. You're fine. I need to add... 
<laughs> I need to add those words into the sensor. I'm used to a different streamer. Yeah, yeah. No, you're good. You're good. Um. Well, not very accepting of the rules. Yeah. <laughs> and I. I aim to be family friendly. So. It. It's. I have to be a little bit more strict on rules and stuff. So. Apologies. Apologies. I know it's more fun to have a bunch of freedom of speech and being able to say whatever you want, but if I'm aiming for family-friendly, I do have to moderate very heavily. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, This isn't going into the VOD? Oh, it all goes into the VOD. All of the stream goes into the VOD. That's the way the VODs work. <laughs> I can't edit the VODs. <laughs> Is me editing... How long? No, oh, I guess it's only about three hours. But it would take about four hours to export. Which, uh... Isn't amazing. Ooh! My back. Ooh! Damn it! Stop it! <laughs> Kale! <laughs> you know what? We're gonna update our blacklist right now. <laughs> I ain't no content creator. I don't understand. No, you're good. You're fine. <laughs> you are fine. Um... Let's see... Uh, ah. <laughs> what am I doing? Hey! <laughs> You'll find out. Um. Uh. Yeah. Let me actually check. I gotta check my blacklist quick. My word list of bad. It it physically pains me to It physically pains me to um scroll through this list. Okay, we're good though. There we go. Alright, let's see. Minecraft? Is Minecraft done restarting? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. It takes so long for the mod pack to launch. It <laughs> takes like 20 seconds to launch it. At least. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Um, we can... And swap screens again, at very least. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I'll need to add all of the substances. Very true. Because those, those will get me demonetized, so... Yeah. To the, to the banned word list, I will need to add the substances. So I wonder if I died. <laughs> I, I think I backed up into Harrowbrine. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Now we're fine. Loading. Loading terrain. Maybe. There's a lot of different things to load. It's fine if you don't say them right. Yeah. Yeah. But if I'm just... If it's super late and I've been streaming a long time and I'm mindlessly reading off chat... 
and I accidentally say them? Well, they also shouldn't be in the discussion of YouTube anyway. It's against Twitch Terms of Service, so... As long as I don't say them, I can't get banned for it. But it's still not a discussion that should be happening in YouTube chat. I understand that other creators have their certain brand of chaos and whatnot. But I try to build a nice, calm, and family-friendly... Well, just friendly community where we can just kind of hang out and have a good time. There we go. So yeah, as long as I don't say certain words, it should be fine. But if I'm just mindlessly reading off chat, that could be an issue. It shouldn't be in chat anyway, so. Okay, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to first person for mining. Ugh. I have no idea what all of the noises are. It's kind of interesting. There are a whole bunch of, like, whispers that happen in your ears. Okay, there goes pickaxe number one. Let's, uh, throw the torches in the good old offhand. There we go. Wait a second. <gasps> I can see my body, but since it's small... Let me see, let me see. Uh, where was it? Let me see. Online. Uh, mods. Right here. Okay. Hold on. Got the first person mod. Um, now I'm noticing I barely watched any VTubers. Yeah? Yeah? No, I mean, that's fair. The VTubers are very niche. I like it because, well, I like it and I'm a VTuber, mainly just because, well, first off, I don't want my face on the internet, and second off, I have a way of interacting with chat without showing my face. And that's simply the only reason. <laughs> I feel like it's a good way for me to still be expressive while remaining anonymous on the internet. And that's why I'm a VTuber. And that's probably why a lot of people are VTubers, actually. That they can still interact with chat in a face-to-face -face way without actually showing their face. Um, don't feel like sleeping, to be honest. Hey, fair enough, villain. Fair enough. <laughs> you don't feel like sleeping, you don't feel like sleeping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot, I forgot. Hold on. I'm gonna gather this iron, and then we're going to have a blast. <laughs> but also, welcome back, villain. I hope you sleep well when you eventually are able to sleep. But in the meantime, welcome back. Pleasure to have you. <laughs> Alright. Idea. Oh, first I need to regain stamina. Perfect. Well, not stamina, but... Well, I guess it's pretty much my stamina. May even use a name tag on a Jerome? I believe so. <laughs> I, will, I will sleep dead? Oh, no, don't die. Also, door's kind of shiny. That's cool. Door is kind of very shiny. Okay. 
idea, folks. You ready for this idea? Because I'm not sure if you're ready. I'm going to go... This block here. That way it's harder for anybody else to fall. And then we're digging straight down. Straight down. As soon as you obtain a name tag, you need Jerome. I will get a Jerome. As soon as I have the ability to get a name tag, I will get Jerome the Squirrel. Also, what happens if we turn these back on? Ah, look at those. Oh! Just right in the face. All of the fancy block particles. Alright, guys. Never dig straight down. <laughs> but we're doing it. We're doing it live. We're digging straight down. Dripstone cave. Okay. Mine straight into a dripstone cave. Not that I have any idea where it is. I'm just going straight down. All the way. <laughs> Nothing bad can happen to me. Oh, no. All right. We made it to Deep Slate. <laughs> what? Never dig straight down unless you're a one block tall lumberjack. Yep. The the bad part is I guess I can't dig straight straight down because of that that just happened. I do wonder if I still burn in lava. Because I do... Oh. Hello, urn. What are these? Antique ink. Bones. Okay, okay. How are you going to get back up? I'm going to... Uh, wait. Back up. Too bad. To follow some rules. I, I'm going to climb up the wall. Because I can climb up the walls. No, I'm I'm just gonna climb up the wall. It's it's so free. Just digging straight down. <laughs> oh yeah. Bad air to follow some roots. Yeah. We here are no. Bad A. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to plan food for Dungeons and Dragons. Uh. Whoopsies. Would say the actual word, but yeah. I actually think now you can say that word. Ah, we made it. Good old bedrock. Anyways. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Bot Ricks won't like it. Yeah. Don't. Don't say it, but... I do think I changed the filter enough to where you can. I had to, or else it just... bans a whole bunch of words. Whoa! Hmm. Small cave. It's all good. Jack, I need your choice on something. Yeah? What is it? What you got, Kale? Ooh. No, oh, hello, creepers. And bats. And all sorts of bad. Anyways, I'm out of here. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Um, detailed or normal? 
on what? <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> ah. Yeah, detailed or normal on what? In Minecraft? Or... What you meanin'? Just answer. Um... See, it, it depends on the thing. See, I love Minecraft because it's... Simplistic and fun. Detailed would be funnier. I do love detailed, though. Like, if we're talking about art or anything like that... I will always think detailed art would be better. That's, that's just the way it works. Blue Lobster. Mm. Blue Lobster. Indeed, indeed. Alright. Got a couple minutes left. We will mine this coal. And we will head back up. Um, it's Minecraft related, but can be considered art. Okay, okay. I mean... Depends on the thing in Minecraft. Skins? I love detailed Minecraft skins. Like, if you look at this Minecraft skin, my arms have hair and scars covering them. My face, my hair, it's all separate layers and stuff. I do think detailed in Minecraft is super cool, but it doesn't always have to be. Some of the some of the super realistic Minecraft skins and whatnot are super scary. And then some of the detailed Minecraft skins are super funny. Yes, I I do prefer detailed though. Wait, time started. It's nighttime now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Why did time start? Uh... Run. What was that? <laughs> you see that? <laughs> yes, detailed. I will say detailed. As my answer, detailed. Wait, you know what I can do? Hold on, hold on. Um, I, why did I do that? Hold on, guys. I have an idea. A slab. Here's the test. Okay, first I want to see if I can crouch underneath a slab. No. I can't crouch underneath a slab. But, what I can do is this. So you see this, this, you know, not very detailed, small little house. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I've got a little hidey hole. <laughs> now nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> this will be my my secret little log off area for today. We didn't do much today, but we familiarized ourselves with the mod, the mods. We got a, a little house, a little starter home set up. Um, we do have a bunch of iron. Look at that, nearly thirty iron. Well. Yeah, nearly 30 iron. So, we're we're pretty good starting out. I think this will be a good place to disconnect. I know after the crash we weren't on for very long, but we we did 
We did the digging straight down test, and we are perfectly fine. Couldn't take any falling damage. I do need to test if we are immune to walking in lava, though. Because if you guys saw me walking in water, I sunk down. Like, probably a slab's worth. Oh, <laughs> Aether <laughs> XCL. Hello, how's it going? Sorry. We were just hopping off, actually. But welcome in. How are you doing? Let's see. What is up? Let me do this. Oh, whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um. Yeah, we're just having a nice, chill, good time. You're about to hop off for the night. Um. Oh, oh, nope, nope. What is that? What is that? Okay. There we go. Just checking some last things. Well, uh, Jack. Yeah? What's up, Philin? How you doing? Um. Was a cool stream? <laughs> yeah? I'm glad. I mainly aim for it to be nice and chill. But I'm glad to hear you had fun, though. Hopefully we made the night where you're struggling to sleep less boring. <laughs> One hour of origin guide. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> Phil and I know it took us over an hour to select our origin. But there are 112 origins. <laughs> Stream more, please? I can't tonight. I can't. I'm sorry. I've got a bunch of stuff I need to do. I'm not judging. Oh, you're good. You're good. Just a little joke, a little jest. You know, I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> what is all this? Um. Oh, interesting. What the heck? Hmm. Okay. Nice. Speedrun it? Speedrun Minecraft or the mod pack? Because there's no way I'm speedrunning the mod pack. <laughs> and Minecraft, I have never speedrun, so that would be painful. <laughs> Painfully bad to watch me try to speedrun. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it was good to know that. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. I hope my nice, sultry voice was nice to read them off to you. Now I, uh, need to rest my voice and... <laughs> but I will be streaming tomorrow. I might stream earlier during the day, about 1pm central time, maybe. But I'll definitely be streaming tomorrow night, unless something comes up. Um, my book cre my creation in the Discord server... About an hour or two? Okay, okay. I'm curious what you're making. You drawing something? Or rendering something? I don't know. I look forward to seeing it, though. Um, Don't forget, link me up if you rent a server and vintage sort. Yeah, I'll look into that as well. I'll look into that. Um, If it's kind of similar to Minecraft, I'm, I'm pretty down with that. If we get some other people to in... Yeah, Aether XCL. It was an awesome. It was awesome having you. Glad you joined. Um, look forward to having you again if you decide to join up. But in the meantime, everyone, have a good night. Have a good night, and I wish you the best. <laughs> in the Discord. All right, sounds good. Oh, it is? Okay. Sounds like a good time. Alright. Everyone, have a good night. Sleep well. If it's not night for you, have a good day. And I'll see you guys another time. I look forward to it next time. Okay. Bye, guys!